hello guys hello guys hello guys welcome back to my channel and today this is day four of building instagram from scratch okay so before we get started to today's main tutorial um as you all can see every features have been created every features have been created so first of all slave with the footer the buttons at the butt at the footer this particular where the case is inside so these are what we'll be doing we have to download all these images from flat icons so let's Head on to flaticon.com. So flat. Okay. So if in case you want to download this kind of images, it's for free. It's free, so we have to go there, visit their sites, and just download them. So first of all, we will download the home. Um, so let's say for home. So I'll, I'm, I'm going to show you how to download it. Then we are using this type, this type. So we have to choose this. Then in here, I'm using a dark team, so it's supposed to be white, so that to tend to neutral. Okay. So let me change the color. Then click on download PNG. Then I will choose the one to eight pixels. Then click on free. So a pop up will come showing the location where you can download it. Okay. So as you can see here, I have already downloaded everything here. This is the search. This is the home. This is the cats. This is I've downloaded everything here. So I need not to download it. Let's get straight to today's tutorial. Okay, so first of all, we are building this particular side of our um projects this particular edge so as you can see where the this color is the orange the violet color and where everything is located so first of all you click we have to create these buttons okay so let me minimize this then let me head to so i'm using this visual studio code to um, do everything so under here let me explain some parts of this app for you so i have the app.js that's the default page okay and i have a screen navigation then stack navigation in the stack items are put on um, one after the other okay so let's go to the home screen this is the home screen everything here I use the home screen okay i use the home screen to build every image every test here including all these these are on the home screen okay so on our next side this is the style sheets connecting to everything here okay connecting to everything here so let's um see how so as you can now see this is the home and you can see here import home style from this the directory okay so let's go to today's um today's main focus our agenda for today we are supposed to build this site okay so as we have already downloaded our our images so let's go straight so let me go to the css change this color to black yep ff oh yeah ff is white so zero 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 is black okay so i'm using a plugin just to see the color that i have downloaded okay so let me come to this one screen i want to see show you the output of the code okay when we are done with these projects this is how 
to look like the fashion the metro body now. okay so as you all can see there's this images here okay so let me clear everything here let me clear everything here from here yeah, from here to here let me clear everything and let me clear here to I to build everything from scratch okay so this is the main container get it this is the main container where our color is black from here to this side is okay so the main aim of this is to keep um, to import images to this particular bodies okay so let's start so you'll be using images so i am jane we are native everything every component starts with a capital okay so then then with the image it has this properties it has a source every image is supposed to get a source and inside the source we have a function um a required statement so we have to give required we are using a local simply because everything that You'll be using let me use this terminal to show you where um ls to show so cd up faith icon then ls so this is what the url is where the source of this particular project is so to ping to the source you have to give this with um, double quote or single quotes each one works so then we start with the dot dot to so change from the parent directory then forward slash save icons forward slash the first image that we'll be using is home so then i close it with the backslash okay so i have to close it with the backslash So as you can see, let me refresh the metro bundle. Okay. So it's trying to tell me something. You see this error. This particular error is trying to tell us that I can't find variable required. Okay. So meaning I have some error. Means it's, it's indicating in line 47. Okay. So this is how we read errors else you you get stuck okay you get stuck so this is it so to show or to see where exactly that particular so let me refresh the bundle by pressing r you see the error will come okay you see so they said variable 300 so let's go to 300 in terminal you see uh, there's plenty error so it's indicating to us so meaning there is supposed to be required not required okay so let me refresh the bundle complete as you have all seen complete meaning the app is working perfectly okay so let me shift it to this direction so that you see what i'm doing so okay. so let's the uh, uploads So from here, so from here, let me start the Metro Bundler again. Since for seven days now, the machine has not been um, shut down due to. Okay. Let's go. To start, to start this metro bundler actually there's a new update my device is a different version okay so if you are using an ios um simulator so you click on the ios simulator and if you are using 
um, an Android emulator, you click on it. So here I'm using an iOS, starting the Metro Bundler. You see a success, the green here, something here. Okay, so yeah, it's now opening the Metro Bundler. So let's head the footer and work on it. So this is the first image. And in our web programming, every image is supposed to get a width and a height. Okay. And how are we going to implement it? We can use either inline CSS, that's in the web. We use inline CSS or the external CSS. In this React Native, I'm going to use a component in JavaScript which talks about inlines, like the inline CSS. As you all can see, this thing is really big, okay? It's really big. Let me add another so that you see that I'm clicking, okay? I tried clicking, nothing was happening. So let me use this thing, call it the Tambo Opacity, okay? The Tambo Opacity. So let me copy this and move it in so that when I click, so you can press in MacBook and press the option key to move objects. Okay, so as you can see, you see there's clicking, but it's too big, you can't see it. Okay, so let's duplicate this thing. Okay, so our next thing is to make it small. Okay, so let me give an inline javascript styling function so we style equals to this then another braces okay then let's go to the width then let me give 33 for the width then comma then height height um, let me give the same 33 then comma so so there's no d here and that's why there's okay 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 so as you can see it's small now okay it's small now okay so let me add like two to it let me add two to it so that we go to the next thing to do. So let me copy this and paste it here. This one too will go down. You see? So this is the first, second, and third. It's going down. It's not supposed to be like that. Okay. So you have to start all this container. Okay. You have to start all this container. So how are we going to do it? I'll be using external CSS. <laughs> I'll be using external CSS or um, JavaScript, um, JavaScript library. Okay, so style equals to styles. That's the name. Dot. Let's not style this. So styles dots let's give a name so the name will be footer bar okay okay so this is the name we are using footer bar so let me add another one to it making four yeah okay so given this so as you can see if i place because something screw up with you you see this side is going horizontal so this is going horizontal so the horizontal in this um, function is set to true okay yeah so the horizontal in this function is set to true okay so let's give the style so i'll copy this then i'll go to the styling side 
So I I to give insects. Okay, so so let's so in here we give some properties flex direction row. So if I comment this out, you see that it will come back. Okay, so flex direction will set to row then flex then justify content I'll set it to space evenly okay to space everything evenly or I'll use space around To give a space around then you see the part the top there's no space okay where which is bad so we have to give a margin a space around and the limit okay to so margin let's use 10 pesos margin okay so there's 10 pesos margin as you can see so i can do it margin top only the top okay supposed to happen to only the top so as you can see so if i do it 22 and then we do 15 okay yeah 15 yeah i think 15 is yeah 15 is quite it's okay okay so if i then do this this one i don't know one is too small and the two Okay. Okay. I think two point four is quite. No, two point four is two. Maybe two point seven, two point eight. Okay, so two point eight is cool. Okay, so let's head to the home screen. Okay, so let me remove everything here. So let me move everything from here to here so that I'll start only one very well then so I think yeah mm, I think that's all yeah let me see yeah mm, yeah that's all so let's duplicate this particular thing that we have done here so okay yeah so so let me give so i've duplicated it so this was the color so now everything is working perfect as this particular one as you can see yeah so let me change this and this one is too small the cuts the size to 40 and then change the width to 40 and I think 40 is big 40 is big so 35 and add to 35 35 so now it seems everything quite the same okay so let me refresh the metro bundler so this is how the journey the journey so far so this is how everything working now okay so let me change the color so the color should be black I forgot to change it okay, so this is the color Black is 
save it then let's see okay so as you can see this is the home page for this particular project so as you can see so as you can see this is the home page of this particular project so that is it so this is how the first phase of clothing this particular app with react Mary. so next you have to add the interactions when you click on this it's supposed to open when you click on this it's supposed to open something when you click on this it's supposed to open the user profile so subscribe to our channel for more tutorials concerning this kind of app development and i'll be glad to assist you and also i'll be i'll be around to um, show you anything that guys you deserve okay so without wasting much time kindly subscribe to my channel hit the bell icon and share this particular video to your friend family everyone okay so thank you for um listening or watching this particular tutorial